Alright, my friends. Today we're playing Back Your Hair, but the arcade version, not the NES that everybody knows. Could be wrong about this, but I believe this one is based on the cartoon show from the 90s. Am I wrong? Actually, that cartoon did get released here. Remember, guys, pretty much 90% of the cartoons you watched, and they, they basically the 90% the of the cartoons that they aired, probably in the United States, came out here pretty much either at the same time or a few months later than you did, or one year later, I don't know. But we did get all of those cartoons, including bizarre things. I, I would consider Baguio here kind of bizarre, I guess. Sorry for speaking over the super important plot that probably all of you were pay paying attention to. And we're gonna go for the main guy of the story. Well, if I, if I get the chance to choose another character, I'll choose someone else. Okay, I couldn't help to think that the duck spoke and acted like Duffy Duck from the 90s. All grumpy and envious of Bugs Bunny. Which I hated always. Not, Duff, not Duffy Duck himself, but basically what the Cartoon Network did to him. Anyway, and we're not gonna talk about Looney Tunes today. Even though Bucky got all the looks of Bugs Bunny <laughs> and the other dog, like, and Duffy Duck with guns. But yeah, Bucky here. Considered by many at the time like Konami's Mega Man when he came out on the NES. Gameplay wise was very similar, significantly harder than Mega Man in my opinion. And it was a, a solo game, it was an only release with no sequels. Which I guess it, it it's fine considering I don't know, in my opinion I feel like the back your hair on the NES. This one being treated as a completely different game in my opinion. But at least the NES one pretty much offered all what it could offer. Honestly, it didn't really have to give you more or making you expect a sequel or anything like that. Oh yeah, I forgot I got bombs in here. That I can use. All negator. Well, this game pretty much got released, or, or has was made rather with the same engine as a shit ton of Konami games of the time, including um, the Ninja Turtles games, the Simpsons game. This is from '92, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, for example, Moo Cowboys or Moo Mesa. What did you do to my people, Alnegator? That's a laugh. <laughs> Captain Bucko's fixing to fry your scales, Negator. Better talk. Ow! The little furballs were taken to the planet Punk. So we are attempting to rescue somebody or a group of people. Yeah, I, I should use the bombs often, even though I'm not about to die or anything. Uh, 
So I guess we are rescuing a rabbit community. Do you give me something? Points? Power-ups? Health? A kiss? A hug? I'm gonna rescue you, just be patient. So I am supposed to be a hare, and the guys that I just rescued are rabbits, but they look exactly the same. And as far as I know, I mean, I'm not fucking veterinarian or anything, but hares and rabbits are not the same, right? Probably you can tell already, but I'm playing on an easier difficulty, that's why. The boss I defeated had very little health, and some of these enemies die in one shot as well, which probably in a medium slash harder difficulty would not happen, even for a joke. Okay. Oh, did, did I punch one of those? Because of proximity? guess so. Well, I believe this is the, the same engine as the X-Men game, which is probably the most well-known Konami game for the time. One of the most famous ones. Well, speaking of Ninja Turtles, I just mentioned it. We are dealing with pretty much an elevator identical to that game. The bombs are represented by the little orbs below my health bar. So I got three at the moment. Okay, I don't have to destroy those little missiles like one by one. See, it punches on proximity. And this power not only releases a um, a bigger blast, but also activates rapid fire. I'm using this because I don't think I'm gonna destroy that thing on fire. Oh shit. Strong words, huh? He's already flashing red. I know I'm playing on an easier difficulty, but isn't that a little bit too soon for that? Well, he's still attacking. At some point, he stops taking hits. I love these little, little animations in the cutscenes. They made a little bit of an effort in here. Wow, take a look out there! That's a climate converter! Oh no, they're forcing the slaves to build one here too! They've gone too far. No fly sucking, slimy, croaking piece of sludge toad is taking over Planet Punk! Matey, here's what we gotta do, and we gotta do it fast! Okay, the climate converter. Oh, okay, what kind of level are we dealing with here? Time for pew pew? Well, the entire game is pew pew anyway. Yeah, I'm using the bomb and taking it back immediately.
So yeah, the game itself, it, it, it has like the perspective of a beat-em-up. It's actually a shoot-em-up. A run and gun. Oh, actually a walk and gun. There's no actual run in here. So in that regard, it, it is kind of unique. Honestly, I did not remember there was a level like this. Which already gives me... a feel of a different... or, or game with variety. Okay, I survived all of those. I didn't take a single hit there. Of course, it was a total guess. No skill whatsoever. So what's the weak point here? The mouth, the eyes, both, none, actually no. Yeah, it's the mouth. Okay, the rapid fire is actually functional. Even though I don't think this is the powered up version. I died. I think I activated three lives per credit. I actually haven't lost a credit. Yeah, I, I know. It's an easy difficulty. It makes sense. But I'm still actually playing on my first credit. Yeah, generic big guy who speaks like this, third-person mode. Jillian is hungry, always hungry. I hate you. Actually, no, they don't conjugate. Jillian hate you. We got him already? No. I got four bombs on my last life. I mean... Fucking use them. Well, we managed to stop the climate converter. You saved us all, Willie. Ah, oh, it was nothing. Bucky. Willie got tits. <laughs> Good work, Jenny. What have we got? I feel this signal coming from the asteroid belt. Okay, back to the walking levels. Yeah, we can jump. Which is something probably didn't find it necessary in the first couple stages. Well, now it is. We got a little bit of platforming. Also, all the scrollers. The previous level was another scroller as well. So yeah, I remember playing this game and I found it, I don't know, Maybe I didn't remember much of it at all, but honestly, I did not remember it had this much variety, at least on how they approach each of the stages. Not all of them are exactly the same or behave exactly the same. Okay, I'm gonna press the jump button in order to maintain myself in the air. I guess that's a person that I have to rescue, right? And in order to rescue that person, I have to kill these guys. They look like the thing from Fantastic Four. Not done yet. Yeah. It little le um, health left and with this amount of bombs use them all come on it's a mouse how give me a couple lives that's how you can help oh okay 
You're making uh, tree, um, trees grow as platforms, even. Give me weapon. So that's different from a bomb? Let's go for Duffy Duck. Angry Duffy Duck. Who's giant in here? I guess we can try a credit with every character. Even though... In just a variety. Or big differences in between them. I don't think we are find much of them at all. Oh, look at that! A jump attack. You are taking too long, mouse. Okay, this one actually got shittier defense. Look at that, I'm about to lose my first life. Alright, okay, I recovered some. Yeah, I got a power up, so I can rabbit fire. Are you the boss? Okay. Please go to the planet Rat and save our tribes. Most humble androids please to navigate Captain O'Hare, but too late. What the toads have done, I, I cannot bear to speak of it. Planet Rat must have been overthrown. No, it's not too late. Rodent, the old mouse is still alive. Rodent. So basically we are going from one planet full of animals to the next. I like the mouse's optimism. Actually I should be more surprised about the little robot's pessimism. Amount of bombs. Me and my own shooting skills. Wait, no, they don't exist. They aren't such. Oh, what did it get? Invisibility? What did it just get? It wasn't a life? It wasn't health? Oh, yeah. That's a gimmick. What did it do? It, it did a little attack that surrounds me for a second. Didn't like it very much. Maybe that changes in between characters. I don't know. Hey! Duffy Duck's punch in action! I guess I'll lose this power up when I die. Which is gonna happen any second now. Yeah, regular shot. Still can rapid fire. I mean, yeah, I'm just holding the shoot button. But it doesn't go as fast. So it's not worth doing it that, like that. I'll already tap the button. Okay, so I got some health back, which basically made me recover the life I lost. Well, now I lost it again. So it's kind of similar to Magic Sword. Remember Magic Sword? That it had a health system like that? 
that were basically a, a big health bar that after you basically surpass a certain amount of health in the bar you basically it's like you got an extra life and in reality you didn't Okay. I really miss the power up. Kind of got used to hold the shoot button and deal with a powerful or at least a decent enough regular shot. Okay, now that I think of it, I think I, I got some sort of double upgrade at some point because even though I just got a power up, it doesn't feel like as good as the one I had before. Like at the beginning of the stage. Okay, I'm not using enough bombs here. And I'm losing lives very easily because of that. Air Marshal, isn't this the final boss in the original game? Well, maybe he is the final boss in this one as well. Yeah, now we're getting surrounded by enemies more often. Which is pretty much a good indicator for you to use bombs. But I'm still trying to unconsciously save bombs for later. Not even for boss battles, which I barely use them at all. But I still end up losing the life for not using bombs. More often than I should. Now's the time, for sure. Look at this fucker blocking. Spider webs. Get a pretty good idea who's the boss. A cyborg spider, of course. Rodent. Yeah, I said I wasn't using bombs enough against bosses. Now I'm kind of forced to. Shit, I couldn't use the last one. Alright, let's be the girl! All of you pers would have started playing as this one in the first place. Got him? Not yet. Alright, this one got a lot of health. It definitely does. There you go. We are much obliged. You have saved our planet and our tribes. Yes, Rodent. But there are many planets out there that have been polluted. There is only one way to restore the planets. Send back the planetary life force stored in the Toad Star to the surface of each. What's the planetary life force? Them lousy toads just keep coming, Captain. What are we gonna do? Shoot them all, I guess. So next, we have the Mothership. Well, before that, actually, we got a Pew Pew level, which we're gonna play next time. Thank you for watching.